Hi there. Sorry for the wait. I'm making coffee because I just I just think that's the only thing that's going to bring me happiness while playing this game. Uh, so I was like, I'll make a quick pot of coffee. I hope y'all are having a nice night. Hey, Mark. Hey, Allie. I don't wanna. <laughs> so, um, for full disclosure, before I start this game, I have watched a playthrough of the game when it came out. I watched another streamer play it. Uh, I haven't played it myself because I was too scared. Um, and I did really like the story, but I don't remember like any of the gameplay, if that makes sense. Like I remember kind of what happens plot based wise, but I don't know how to get there. So uh, that's that's my disclaimer. Um, I uh, I don't have the lights off. Sorry. <laughs> I think one step at a time. I don't know. Maybe it'll be a channel point redeem for like 100,000 points. I'll turn off the lights while playing a horror game, but uh we'll we'll see how this goes. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. It's going to be fine, right? All right, new game. Uh game mode normal. Mhm. Mm Safe. But they can't kill you. you need to worry about stealth. You don't need to worry about stealth. We could play no monster mode. Oh, those are the only two options. Got it. All right. Uh, cool. Cool. Overwrite my current save. That, that's fine. I was just sound balancing. Which might still be off, because I didn't actually play that much of the game, you know? So let me know if the sound's weird. Oh, I didn't read that at all. That's fine. Are you okay? Oh, Simon? Mark, thanks for the reset. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. <laughs> Why now? Who's David Munchie? Why is there never enough time? For what? Okay, perfect. This is an indie game. We're starting off with a car crash. Good. Glad we got that established. Christ. Yeah. Oh. R2? Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Tracer fluid. Drink the tracer fluid. All right. We have a task. Car crash is a good bingo card entry. Yeah, uh, there's a couple. It's like, someone dies of cancer, car crash. Um, I, I don't know. There's like a, I keep adding to the list of like things that make an indie game a minty, uh, an indie game. Yeah, mental illness as a metaphor, exactly. Uh, oh, look at that. Uh, 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 okay. Can I throw this? Is this like amnesia? Can I throw it? No! Is there a throw button? No, that's a crouch button. Let's jump. Was that throw? That was kind of a throw. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid. Where are you? Listen, listen. I'm I need to throw things around here. There it is. Alright, there is a throw button. Okay. Good. <laughs> Trying to make it wave at us. Hey Mark. Hi. Excellent. Okay. Um, is the game, is the gamma on your end okay? Because on my monitor it looks fine, but on OBS it looks real dark. 
Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, Miss You Mean It. End of messages. I swear that guy has the memory of a goldfish. You know, I I, I should have to remind him, didn't I? Oh, I should turn on subtitles. Uh, audio subtitles on. Better. Uh, a microwave. You know, I should have seen that coming. Uh, in a better world, I would have. Look at all this stuff. That's a nice camera. A DSLR. It's nice that they print it right on the front. Just so you know. Ah! <laughs> That's like... Oh, several thousand dollars just thrown across the room. That's like my nightmare, right? The memory of a goldfish. It's it's less a goldfish memory and more of just like if you wrote gullible on the ceiling, right? That's me. I'm just uh, as stating the game goes, very susceptible to things like that. Uh, get well soon. Love, mom. What's that say at the bottom? Everything is interactable. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, wrong button. It's weird that um, right trigger is interact. Downtown accident kills young woman. Toronto, yesterday a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Sapdina, Spadina, Spadina Road. Uh, the mother and her children travel in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky as the car crash uh, happened the, into the passenger side. Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffered uh, and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs before the ambulance arrived. Her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, 26, survived but with complicated results, believed to have believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> RIP our brain. <laughs> Hello, computer. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scans will be performed at the place, uh, Pace Laboratories in Toronto, but since we are guests, our, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David uh, Munchie. Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Uh, your last tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it is still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least, and you will need to come to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. Since uh, excess stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for uh, prazosin? Prazosin? to help you with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and we'll see you next week. Saturday off. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Whoopsie daisies. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got uh, that doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if you put them on the shelves where people will actually see them. Good luck. You'll need it, Simon. <laughs> Stay medicated, my friend. Yeah, sure. Better late than never. What's this? It was glowing. I wish I could, like, zoom in on this a little bit. Ah, I keep doing that. 
tracer. That's just the prescription for the tracer fluid, I guess. Oh, can I pick this up too? Oh, I'm gonna pick everything up. You know what I'm doing? I'm stalling. What a beautiful photograph. You know, this reminds me of my weekend in Maine. Ah, what a nice vacation. Here, let me spend the next 45 minutes telling you all about it. Yeah, it does look like the rocks, doesn't it? Okay. This is our corner of throwing things. It's too early in the game for there to be monsters. I don't have to worry. Yet. Sir. Sir, please. Come on. Close it. Yes. Good, better manners. <laughs> That's such an unnecessary mechanic that they put in here. No mirror in the bathroom. Man, I hope this guy has a good memory for faces. Get out of here. Get, get it out, get out of here. Ah, uh, yeah, like, can things go in the trash can? It's a good game. Game of the year, as Dave would say. Can we shower? Will it, like, actually just let us shower? I don't want to keep the doctor waiting. I'll shower when I get back. You always shower before you go, right? Unless you're working out. Can I turn on the light? Oh, we did all this in the dark and we didn't have to. Look at this sterile environment. Alright. Got lenses. Wait, wait. I want to get it under the bed. Oh, yeah. Ten points. What's this? Mapping Mines. Widely praised as one of the most comprehensive yet accessible texts about anatomy of the human brain, its function, and our perception of consciousness. I like that. I, I like that. Comprehensive yet accessible. Like, we did a really good job dumbing this down for you. Massive recoil. Okay. Nothing but fast food. I should buy something healthier on my way home. Oh, that looks nasty. Bro. Bro. You better you better get some better food on the way home. Get 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 the pizza box out of the fridge. I don't know what the fuck that is. Are you a chicken? Look at all these microwave meals. Can I pull everything out using the microwave meal? Alright, we have to test all of the, the, the physics, right? Like this is just this is just Prepping for later. <laughs> didn't Einstein say if you can't explain something, you don't understand it? That's a good saying. If he didn't say it, I like it. Get get this out of here. Just fucking just get it out. Just You guys might think I'm wasting time, but this this might be the only fun I have this game, so I'm just gonna enjoy it. Yes. <laughs> Gimme. Give, Give it to me. This guy didn't have, like, any kind of milk or anything. Wait, there is milk. It's on top of the fridge. What's it doing up here? What's in here? Oh, wait, aren't we looking for something? We're looking for the tracer fluid. Tracer fluid, come here. Oh, sink's full of dishes. Typical, typ typical bachelor fridge. <laughs> Does that make me a bachelor? <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Milk's gross anyways. I mean, I think so, but I also... Whoa. Oh, I thought it landed on top. It's funny that, like, I can hit... Oh, there we go. I was like, why aren't they knocking each other over when I... <laughs> okay, wait. What happens if I throw the pot at these plates? All right, nothing if I miss, okay. These are rock solid plates. These are stone plates. That I can't pick up, which is interesting. I can pick up every single thing in this kitchen and throw it around the room except for these plates. They are glued down. Where is the tracer fluid? It can't be far. Is it in the shoebox? No. That's the good china. Oh, all right, got my keys. To Simon Jarrett. There's a lot of these. Can't do anything with them though. Maybe, is it in the bathroom? Pyro, thanks for the lurk, appreciate it. It's shaving cream. That out of there. All right, this is the correct way, just so everyone knows, to roll up toothpaste. You can't just you can't just squeeze it. You you gotta roll the tube. Can't let that can't let it go to waste. The real reason is because I don't want to make another trip to Target. So you better get full use out of that thing. All right, but where is the fluid? Uh, maybe the, oh my God, plates, holders. Mark, please. <laughs> Summer's coming. Hope it's a good one. Forget to replate them with real assets. Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, they, they make me laugh, but they also hurt. Dave, thank you so much for that resub. I appreciate it. I'm gonna be lurking. Hope I enjoy this. I am gonna do my darndest. But I can't find tracer fluid. Mark, does it look like I'm laughing? No, I did, I did chuckle. You did get a good chuckle. It'd be kind of funny if I picked up the tracer fluid, but I hurled it across the room and now it's like under the bed and I just can't get it and I just soft locked the game. Is it in here? No. Is that it? No. Whoa, that's creepy. Mark and Diana Miller have finally caught a break. They've managed to save up enough money to take the family on that vacation to Hawaii they've been talking about for so long. But as the sun sets over uh, Waikiki Beach that first day, Mark and Diana's paradise turns into a nightmare as swimmers are caught in thousands of thin strings stretching somewhere from below the waves. Slowly, swimmers are pulled screaming into the dark water. Desperate to get out of harm's way, their seven-year-old Charlie is caught by the vicious tendrils. <laughs> You'd read it? <laughs> Allie, you can give me the synopsis later. You guys, where's the tracer fluid, though? Is it... Where do you keep medication? I keep medication, there's like, maybe the, maybe up here? That would be a weird there place. It's a weird place to put medication, you guys. That's a weird place. With the plates. There's a medicine cabinet in the bath. Is there a run button? There is a run button. This is a medicine cabinet. This is for plates. Come on. Come on, game. Alright. Let me just 
look, look at this thing. Look at this. The cutest little French press that exists. I've got myself some coffee. We're ready to go. Let's drink this tracer fluid, all of my coffee. It feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. All right, we're good to go. All right, now that he's said a couple words, let me know if the volume is good. I guess it's time to leave. So the game can actually begin. I'm also turning my phone on silent so that it won't buzz in 20 minutes and scare the hell out of me. All right. Oh, sick. It's the MBTA. Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after this scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Maddie from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time. Work in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, you know. Ashley is uh, dead. Not she cannot do her job. By leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole... You know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. So the email said that his state is like slowly improving, right? So like he might get better. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I also have a hunch that I'm going to end up playing the game like this instead of like this. Hello? And I'll tell you why. Dr. Munchie? Dr. Munchie, please. The reason why is that I've got my regular large monitor directly in front of me, right? Or I guess a little bit to the left. And then I've got my Where other monitor with OBS on this side, which has a smaller screen, right? So, uh, it's... It'll be less spooky over here. You have a hunch, let me help. <sighs> All right. Oh, thank you for the posture check. My posture has been shitty lately. All right. Sitting up straight. That was a good one. I will acknowledge that was a good one. Can we paint? Make word work of art. Why orange? Yeah, I mean, I guess it looks like a good waiting room color, I guess. But orange is a weird color. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got a hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. That's on May 2nd. Uh, April 27th. Hey, Paul, I talked to Pace about using the lab this week. I managed to book a scanner room for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models. And also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. We could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. Uh, it's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peak will send someone over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the 
uh, code change, so I called security, talked to Professor Y, Wei, uh, to have him vouch for our project to finally, and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget, Paul. Are we going to need this code? Oh, yeah, let's turn on all the lights. Oh, we want the lights on. Uh, oh god, is this a game that I'm gonna need a notepad for? <laughs> With the orange floors. Yeah, it's gonna be something out of Mirror's Edge. Alright, let me just get a clean notepad here to write down stuff. I We probably take notes with us. I don't know. Where's my goddamn pencil? Alright. Pencil acquired. 2501 or 7? 2501, I think. Do you really have to take notes? Probably not. But I don't know. It's sometimes it's it's convenient. If that's like a code that I need in 10 minutes, I don't want to have to go into a game menu. Trial and error. Put your scalpel away. The brain can heal itself. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. We are able to fail treating you a million times over. That's reassuring. Can I plug this in? That'd be funny. Oh, sick. That's not a bad view. I wonder where this is. Toronto. They already told me. Never mind. Yeah, there's like a few games that I've taken legitimate notes for. All right, all right. Y'all, okay, this is a test of where you're from. What is this called? What is this specific device called? Water cooler? Water cooler. Uh, it's actually a bubbla. But, uh, I'm from Boston, so. Get it? Because it, it bubbles. It's a bubbla. A water, a water cooler, I would think, would be a bigger one of these that has, like, an actual, like, cooling function. Like, it chills the water when it comes out. And then a water fountain would be one where the, uh, the, the spout goes up and you drink from it from above by holding a button, right, in school. This is the place, right? It must be. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Oh, you see that? You see there's a keypad there. That's okay. I can figure this out. The bubblers usually don't. Uh, usually it's just... Oh, that's... weird. I'm stuck. Uh... I can't move at all. Uh... Uh... Game? Game, I'm locked in place. I can't move at all. Game, please! Game! Game, no! Game, why? God damn it. God damn it. Uh, fuck. Fuck. Time to stop. You're right. Yeah. Uh. Sorry, guys. We're going to switch to FTL. Now I'm just going to restart it. Let's try again. Let's try again. Oh, the other thing I have here to help me through this is I've just got a bag of chocolate chips. I don't know about you guys, but I can just eat them like candy. Just chocolate, please.
Yeah. Oh, and yeah, for the for the bubbler, yeah, it does have hot. It does have a hot setting for sure. I don't know if the cold one or the the blue one is actually like chilled though, or if it's just uh, room temperature. But when it has the jug on top, we call it a bubbler. Oh God, we're still stuck. What the fuck? Am, am I, did, is my game just bricked? Now I can't jump. What if I just get, can I inch closer to this? Uh, fuck. This isn't fair. What am I stuck on? I can't even, now I can jump. What did I do? Are we gonna have to just speed run the first part of the game to get back here? Oh, God damn it. I think we have to. This is not, this is, this does not bode well. Oh, oh, we can, uh, uh. Uh, can I reach the keypad, please? Yeah, that d it does suck. It that does suck. That sucks a lot, actually. I really hope it doesn't happen again. You know, like if this happens, like an hour into the game, I'm gonna be really fucking miffed. Um. So sorry, guys. I'll just run through that first part really quick. It's not like we really did anything. It was drink the tracer fluid and then leave. <laughs> Miffed? Is that less common? Okay, I don't know. I feel like that's a relatively common way to say pissed. Oh, that, that's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here. Can I take this? No, that that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Can I skip? Ashley, I need to tell you something. All right. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Munch? Why is there never enough time? <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> Christ. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain yeah. scan. I remember. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. It's just Are a bit of Groundhog Day yeah, syndrome. That's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. I'm trying to think of other Boston specific slang. Um uh rotary, we call we call it a rotary instead of a hey, um you work this weekend or what? I knew there was a roundabout. Was it this weekend? I don't think there was anything in here that we actually did, so we can just go drink the tracer fluid. I swear that guy has the memory. Uh, of the no, it was in the in well, the goddamn the cabinet. He must have caught up by now. Excuse me, where is it? Are you joking? Hold on. Are do you guys? Better late than never. What the fuck? Where is it though? Game, this is not okay. Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? You guys, it was in that cabinet, right? Like, I'm not crazy. You don't know what a roundabout is? It's, um, uh, they're, they're not very common outside of New England. Um, but it's it's like how do you even how do you describe a rotary? Like uh, it's an intersection, but instead of a light, you have a circle, and so the cars just go around the circle, and so you just always turn right, and there's no light. 
You guys, where is the tracer fluid? This is not cool. <laughs> Does it like spawn in a certain location depending on how many things you interact with? Like, is there anything? Do I have to pick up the keys first and then it'll spawn the tracer fluid? I'm at a loss. I can't believe it's not there. There it is. Oh my god, it spawned in a different location! Are you like not supp you supposed to find it uh, before you rummage around a little bit? Drink it. Chug, 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 chug. I can't believe- that's shocking to me. If you do stuff in a specific order, it'll determine where it spawns, I guess. Let's get out of here. You don't have any here, but you call them traffic circles. Oh. It might just randomly spawn every run. Maybe, yeah. But that seems really un unusual, right? Because it's not a rogue game. Like, you're unlikely to play this twice. So having it spawn in a random location is totally unnecessary, right? So I feel like it would make more sense if the game uh, wouldn't have it have the player find it immediately. Like, you have to rummage around and, and like, read some of the text things. That's my guess. And then it's like, wherever isn't open yet is where it'll put it. That's Ashley's job. Yeah, maybe. I'm just guessing. I'm just... That's just my best guess. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole, you know, dying thing. Dying thing? Harvey, You're the worst your support, support ever. <laughs> what should I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. It's all a lie. It's a stinking awful lie. They just wanted to fuck with the speedrunners. <laughs> Yeah, I will say, I, if that is correct, if my guess there is correct, I do appreciate it as a game design perspective. I think that's cool. Yeah, Harvey, come here. Yeah. Yeah, come here. Come here. Yeah, come on up. Aw, I lured him. All by myself. Hello? Dr. Munchie? Yeah, Harvey. Uh, I'm mad at him, though. I'm a little bit mad at him. He, um... When I was at Where the gym everyone? the other day... This place would be busy. Uh... I'm... See, assuming what I know about what I just read, I bet I have to read this before I can open the door. Okay. Turn on the light. And I think that's everything I need. Okay, for the love of God. This is the place, right? It must be. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. That's okay. I can figure this out. Uh, all right, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. While I was at the gym yesterday, so on my desk, I have, like, there's um, the my regular, like, tabletop, and then there's also a little raised platform that my monitors sit on. I also have my work laptop on there. So while I was at the gym, I left the work laptop open, um, and he jumped up on my desk and pushed the laptop off the desk, and then spooked himself and threw everything else off the desk onto the floor. The laptop was okay, but I was like, bud, bud, we can't. We can't do this again. Hey, I can move around. Bug resolved. Let me guess. Two, five, oh, one. Heck yeah. Notes. Love it. All right. Open the door. Close the door. We don't need that. 
door is locked. All right. Uh, guess we don't need the fire hose. Hope not. First aid. This might be useful. Yeah, that big brain. That looks important. Oh, look at all these servers. Could fit a mobile game on that. That's a big syringe. What? Look at how massive this is compared to the keyboard. Excuse me? Oh! Oh! Let's leave. Oh, there's a light. Oh, it's less scary now. Okay. Oh, bye, Harvey. Thanks for visiting. He'll come back. Between me and Kyber playing uh, Visage. You don't know who's more scared. Oh, man. I, Kyber, I think, is definitely more scared because he has those chat redeems, those, like, those bit redeems that'll just make jump scares happen. That kind of thing sounds oh, miserable to me. So, I, mean, <laughs> I could Jared, never. Right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Berg. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Sure did. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. He won't need it. Please, have a seat. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking around. Don't rush me. It's, you know, we gotta, we gotta take our time. Like, what's this? Can you tell us about this? I know what happens when I get in that chair and you better believe I'm gonna fully explore this room first. Just have a seat. We'll all right, all right, fine. No time. <laughs> Oh, it's it's it it's like one of those X-rays they do of your teeth. Those always freak me out. All right, let me just get this out of the way. Wait, he Your doesn't have a mouse. Here, correct? <laughs> right. Toronto, Canada. Munchie, born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version six. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. That's so. Well, Why does this look like some knockoff back alley <laughs> office? Ready? Yeah. Say cheese. It's a, it's a student project. It's a thesis assignment. He's a cancer. You already know so much about him. <laughs> I um uh looked up my moon sign the other day because I didn't know what that was. Uh, Hello. And I had never even heard of what a moon Mr. sign Munchie? is. Did something go wrong? Love the thought of this guy if they're married. They're this isn't funny. <laughs> I, I'm not supposed to put myself in. It's very dark. I can't this is see kind of stressing a me out. thing. Uh. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Is there a scream counter? No. But I'm not really much of a screamer. Uh, we can definitely... I have stream elements open. If we have to add any commands, I will gladly do so. Um, we... I... I uh, I've never screamed 
while playing a game. I, I get startled very easily. I'll jump, right? Especially if, if, like, there's any kind of jump scare. I will jump, but I usually just shrivel up inside. Just, I'm a, I'm a cowering type of, of a fear person. What's up, Harvey? Insert Omni tool to access. All right, well, we, we need one of those, I guess. Look at these suits. It's nifty. Hi. What's going on? You want to play? Harvey's going to play games with us for a minute. There we go. All right, Harvey. You're my safety blanket right now. Anytime I, like, walk into something, I'm going to be paranoid that I'm stuck. What's... what? Wait, what was the thing I could interact with? Oh, the chair. Sure. <laughs> Unlock terminal from the console. I guess we have to open this door, which is locked, indicated by the red light. Cool. My uh, roommate just opened the bathroom door and I like, I like took a breath. <laughs> I'm gonna, this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have serious jump scares later. Alright. I should just close my door preemptively. Alright. <laughs> Arby, it's okay, bud. I know you're scared. It's gonna be okay. Oh, I hate that sound. Okay. Cool. Harvey, you wanna go down, bud? I don't wanna I don't wanna torture him too much. There you go, bud. Good boy. I will close my door though, because I just wanna prevent any kind of scare from happening. Just gonna close it. Does that mean that Harvey will need to be let out at some point? Uh, most definitely, but also, uh, that's just an excuse to pause the game. Saving? Oh, I don't like that. Harvey, what's up, bud? You hungry or something? I'm gonna check his food really quick. He is meowing. Sorry, we're gonna we're gonna make it an actual I'll be right back. Gimme give gimme give gimme give just a second. Pulling good Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> You get a very rare glimpse of the other cat. <laughs> All right. Harvey has been fed. He has been locked out of the room. Ellie has been locked in the room, but she's quiet, so she'll just chill. She will chill. All right. Game pause. Uh... So we just came in here. Ah, I see. Nice, cool. We can hide in there later. 
Oh, I have to remember to keep my posture in check. Okay. We got another room in here. Oh, look, it's a kitchen. What happened in here? All right. We got some some goop. Can't be good. I don't see any Omni tools around here yet. I'm gonna have to work very hard to keep myself on task and not just get distracted while looking around. Especially when picking up things and throwing them is just so much fun. This looks like somewhere we'll need to be. Not yet. We can open this. I hate that noise. Did you guys hear that? It is too early in the game for them to show me a monster. Uh, uh, uh. Don't look at that, I guess. Sure. I don't like this room. This room is not, not as fun as the rest of the rooms. These two aren't spooky, it's just these two. Did that one move? Probably not. Maybe. Please don't. I swear to god if one of them is gone when I come back around. I just need an Omni tool. Have any of you seen one? one's kind of standing. Alright, I don't see any Omni tool in here. This is just a spook room. Sounded a little different than that to you. I'm sorry, I haven't practiced my monster voices. Tech Depot. That's where we came from, right? This was where we started. Can't open this. And it's not in, in any of these. So by process of elimination, it has to be here, right? And I just missed it. I know anything about game design, it's gonna be in a well-lit area, which would be that. Is it like, do I have to pull it out of one of these heads? Oh! I didn't expect that. Hey you, can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Some structure gel? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. How did I do that? If it could stop making that noise, that'd be swell. Uh, I don't think that was red before. Oh, 
Oh, that scared me. Just the one in the window. Or run right there. What do I do? <laughs> it's right out there. Oh, I got you covered, game. I know exactly how to lean. Okay. We're gonna... So, this is the default walking now. Uh, we could stand, or we could crouch everywhere, since standing and crouching moves at about the same speed. So... Um... Oh, I hate it. I hate this. I hate the... Uh, uh, okay. I hate it because it, like, it feels so, like, legitimate, you know? It feels like something you could really do. Yeah, just, just... Uh, excuse me. Is anyone there? I would feel safer if I had one of those portal turrets with me. Is anyone there? That's locked. It, I, it's too early in the game for them to have a legitimate thing following me around, right? Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. Get me out of here. I'm leaving. We're going home. Fuck you, game. Who made this game? Frictional games? Fuck you. Fuck your whole game dev team. But you made you made a you made a, a stellar scary game. Props. But also fuck you. Oh, I can go in here. I wish I had a flashlight. That would go a long way. What the fuck? Okay, all right. It's so dark. <laughs> hold, hold it. Oh my God, do I have to stand? Why won't you grab it? What the fuck? I can't open that. Going back to my my hide. Like that's definitely where I'm supposed to go, right? Don't make me explore game. Oh, there we go. God damn it. Excuse me. Is anyone home? I just, uh... I had to get my brain scanned and I just... I just want to leave. Alright. Omni-tool acquired. My inventory. I guess... Oh, I see. My inventory is just at the bottom there. Okay. 
Omni Tool V 2.5, version 2.5. The Omni Tool is an advanced interface uh, for assessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols enable, uh, to enable the user to automate routines, actions through basic uh, logical charts. Over time, the Omni Tool automatically will automatically adapt to its programs to cover subconscious behavior to optimize. I don't like the dripping sound in the background, by the way. Um, to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The Omni tool has a short range of use of signal useful for basic and automated actions such as open doors while performing complex operations. To upgrade your device, simply slide uh, operators into the main or auxiliary slot. The main slot has standard C1121 connector, which allows the user to fit most market Cortex chips into the Omni tool. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. Uh, the auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting a large range of chip, uh, tool chip models, yada yada. So I guess we're going to upgrade this later. Neat. Also, like I mentioned at the start of the stream, I have watched a playthrough of this, so I know some things that are going to happen, and if there's things that I forget, I might, like, subconsciously remember some of those things. So if I... If I say something like, getting chips for upgrades that's, like, right on the money, but I'm not 100% sure, it's probably just because I saw it before and forget. Okay. Oh, he's had a rough day. That, that's a, that's a, yeah, that's gonna be us, eventually. Oh, what am I talking about? I gotta be optimistic, alright? We're gonna get through this whole game, no deaths. Uh, oh, that's right, we have to go back to the room we started in. I swear to God if something jumps out at me. I might cry. I was screaming, unlikely. Crying, much more likely. Ah! Okay, no thanks. No thanks, no thanks. No thank you. I don't want to buy anything you're selling. All right, now if I was the developer of this game, I would like have the creature like walk across right here just so that like you get you can you can watch it from a distance. Uh let's go ahead and close this. Ellie got to run. Don't get too scared. I will try my very best. Ellie, thanks for hanging out. I'll catch you later. Did I do it? Oh, I see. I assumed it was gonna do it for me, but no. Service console up to three, including pilot seat activated. Okay. Status. Remote access denied. Servers offline. Main power suspended. Wow setup. Denial. Emergency systems. 13 days remaining. It's not great. Uh, oh, I see. I see. I have to use the back button. Progress scan. Simon Jarrett. Termination scan. Toronto. Operation unavailable. Manage toolchip. Toolchip not inserted. All 
all right. Chip not inserted. Unlock toolbox. We got it. Progress. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running. But there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knock down the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. There we go. Found the cat. <laughs> this is not where he thought he was going to suggest shoving the Omni tool. Uh. Alright, so we did our orientation. We've unlocked the toolbox. Can I pick up my Omni tool? Can I take it with me? This was the light switch. Wait, the lights are just off now. That's fine. Pilot seat three. In progress. Cool. Upsilon. Offline. Pilot status. Pilot not found. No pilot found. Connection status. Offline. Reports. Replace heat sinks. Result, success. Sm, uh, sm, smet, smken? Reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Smekin's sim, uh, symptoms. No indication to what created this anomaly. Pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been in it in the last couple of months has been having headaches or spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 minutes, 30 hours while trying to direct helper cluster. Direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out. But for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means you will have to do some more heavy lifting, performing the operations through programming or physical labor. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. So, Mark, have you played this? I assume you have. Did you play the Amnesia series? Can I pick this up now? You streamed it. Oh, cool. Before my time. Streamed Amnesia 1, 2, and Soma. Oh, cool. Did you play Justine? Because I, I heard Justine was pretty good. It was like the DLC or something. Yeah, I love the story of Soma. Um, I just... Uh, I, I don't watch or partake in a lot of scary media, just in general. Like, suspense and thriller I like for, like, movies and things. I like some tension. Uh, oh, oh, maybe I, I actually missed an area. No, I did the orientation, right? I know they told you that field technician. Yeah. Oh, wait, there's another back. Inventory. Okay, okay, unknown contamination in use. Oh, oh, they're right here. I'm sorry for missing that for so long. Christ. Up 
Yay! We did it! So now what happens if we take this over here? Does anything happen? No. So we have the tool chip, but what do we need to do with it? Uh, do I just leave? I mean, I, I guess. can't say that I feel very good about leaving. Oh, well, this is open now. I don't like the red light. Okay. The music picked up. I'm so disoriented already. There's been like two whole rooms and I'm disoriented. Ah, okay. Well, this seems less scary. There's like open area, sort of. It's kind of pretty. Had a buffer available. Hey, Kim. Yeah, Mark, I'm sad I missed you playing those games. Um, especially Amnesia. That's like my favorite game to watch people play. Because I'm a monster. That will never get old, by the way. Oh, those are... Like, nothing happened. Everything still looks the same. All silence alike. didn't really like Amnesia. I mean, that's fair. Like, I don't feel like anyone really, like, loves Amnesia, right? It's just, like, fun spooks. Maybe count as a blessing I didn't see it. Fair enough, fair enough. I like these little drawings. How's everyone doing tonight? You know, Kim, I'm doing as well as I can while playing this game. It's so far it's going okay. There was one part that was like a little bit spookier than I expected in like the first hour or so. But aside from that. I will say something that's kind of interesting is that if I didn't stream, I would have never played this on my own. Like playing a game like this would not be fun to me at all if uh if i wasn't playing it like with people 
Can I help? Ah! What'd you do that for? Ah, ah what? Shit. All right, just because there were sparks coming off, it doesn't mean it wasn't safe. That's not fair. Right, that one has sparks too. What the fuck is this? Ah! What was that? It doesn't hurt anymore. Okay. Kim, you don't like scary games either? Oh man, yeah. I it took a lot of uh convincing of like people talking me into it to play this. I was almost like, you know what, let's just play some FTL. <laughs> Oh, oh god. The the saving and loading in this game is a little janky. It's like All right, you better not be in the in here. I just like, I don't know, some people like really Not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair, not fair. There's nowhere to hide here. Uh, I feel like some people really enjoy feeling scared. Like it's just such an uncommon feeling in like natural world, hopefully, that getting that little bit of excitement is just kind of fun. It's, that's not like it for me. I could go my whole life without feeling scared ever again, and I'd be be pretty content. All right, that one's locked. I guess we'll go further inward. Hey, nine. You'll watch ghost videos to go to sleep. <laughs> that sounds like hell. <laughs> yeah, I keep getting like the like the audio cuts out and the the screen like stutters and I can't move for a second when any time I get that saving icon. Maybe I should upgrade my PlayStation someday. Nine, how are you doing tonight? I hope you're Hope you're having a good day. Don't touch the structure gel leakage. Can't confirm its effect on a wow. Um, issue has been reported to SSE Wal Wal Walzek. Don't touch. Got it. Hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's like stuck to that that weird thing. Oh, and here too. So I uh, expect that's what we have to do, but let's look around a little bit first. Errors. Uh, I definitely can't. Well, I might be able to go to a different room. I'm just gonna pull it. It's just a robot, it doesn't have feelings! Ah! I need it! Why? I was okay. I was happy. It's a robot, it doesn't have feelings! Critical system failure, please reboot the... Problem persists. Inform your administrator. It's just a robot, she says. Just you wait. 
I'm sorry. I... Still got a critical system failure, though. Everything's off. Oh! Lamba! Lamba? Oh, what is... What, what's happening? Hello? Is there anyone there? Hey! Hey! Can you hear me? I hear you. Uh, Absalot, what's going on? Uh, I, I have no idea. I, I just sort of woke up here. In the room right now? Uh, it, it was it was like a, a seat with a helmet. Is that right? Uh, what's your name? I, I'm Simon Jarrett. And what do you? Oh, sing, oh, damn relays. Where are you now? Uh, uh, uh some place dealing with electrical power. I, I'm not sure if it's a plant or a transformer. Uh, yeah, you're probably in a thermal plant somewhere. You want to go upstairs to the comm center. It's the room with the dome ceiling. Uh, hey, look, look this place is not. There's something seriously wrong here. Hello? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. We lost another relay. Just listen, head for the comm center upstairs. I'll wait here. Cool. Can do. We'll get up there. Uh, also, Nine, to answer your question, we don't know where we are. Uh, we got our brain scanned at, like, some back alley office, and then we woke up in a room here and there's monsters around and uh not happy about it whoa that's really cool looking see like if i woke up in a place like this and there were things running around i don't like actually know what i would do i feel like i would just like crouch in a corner and like just just starve that that would be my best reaction. Power restored. System online. Hull integrity. Multiple breaches. Sounds, uh... Bad. Can't go that way. Guess we're going this way. We might be able to jump across there. For some reason, I would rather jump across than go down. Going down, I feel like something's gonna happen. I don't know. What is that? That's cool. Alright. Ah! Alright, I was wrong about the scream counter. Oh, the fan. It's behind me. Fuck. Go down. Let me through. Shit. I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked, you guys. I'm so fucked. Oh, I'm so fucked! I'm so fucked! No, it's not fair! <laughs> Let me live! <laughs> Where do I go? Uh... What? Oh, I ran in... Oh, what? The steam will protect me!
Jesus. Mark, I'm glad that you're enjoying this. Uh, if no one was, I don't. I would. I would not be playing it. That's a fact. I'm here for you. Also, I, if that was what I was supposed to do, fully lucked into it. If there's anything that I need down there, it's gone forever. Uh. I don't. I don't know if I should touch that or not. Oh god, everything's so blurry. Oh, that's that's nice. I heard something. Honestly, horror games played by people who don't play horror game is the best content. <laughs> yeah, as long as I don't have fucking nightmares. Like, if if I can play chunks of this game and not have it actually impact my mental health, I'll keep playing it, right? But if I have even one nightmare related to this game, I'm never playing it again. I, um... Uh... I've, I've definitely... Alright. I'm gonna touch this. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that's better. That did help. Okay. Um. I've talked about Day 9 stream a couple times. Uh, before. But, um. What happened to the pilot scene? He, uh, he played Amnesia, and that's how I found out about the game, was watching his stream of it on YouTube back in the day. And, um... I thought it was, like, the funniest shit ever, because his reactions were just so over the top, it was just really, really funny. But, um... Hi. But as, after he finished playing it... You could tell by the end he was, like, really getting over it. Um, and, like, the next year, people were asking if he was going to play horror games again. Hold on. Let me, let me move. This guy's talking. Let me pause it for a second. So, um, like, a year later, people were asking if he was going to play horror games again. And he was like, no, I had legitimate night terrors from playing that. Like, I finished it because people loved the, the content so much. But it, it genuinely impacted my sleep for weeks afterwards and i was like oh god i don't like i feel bad watching it now right like i feel guilty that i was like i i watched it on youtube not on twitch so it was all just getting uploaded regardless but like i felt like i contributed to him having a bad time what's wrong with you everything what are you are you blind it's me Carl. Carl Semke. Wrangler? Any of this sound familiar to you? I... no, actually. Well, thanks for being so helpful. It's not like I'm knocked out on the floor or anything. And here, let me add a, a new counter. Actually, I might have to look up how to do it. Never mind. If anyone can look up how to add the counter in stream elements so that I can just plug it in really quick, I will make a stream uh, a screen counter. I assume I need to pull that lever. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Fuck, dude. I'm sorry. I'm really hurt. I I'm sorry. I, I think I pulled the wrong lever. Oh, don't sweat it. Just get me a doctor. I 
Mona mechanic make more sense? You trying to be fucking funny? Give me a medic! Poor guy. He thinks he's people. Did I go this way? I'm worried this is the way the monster went. Just standing in the middle of the hallway, just... Yeah, like, that's helpful. Oh, look at this! Perfect place to hide. I'm glad that... Oh god, he's dead? He's dead. The monster has, like, a blue glow to it, so it stands out. Carl! Oh, you're a robot now, Carl! Oh! Oh, that's gross. Why are you telling me this now, game? Do I need to come over here? Can't open that door. Just in case anyone's wondering, like, I get legitimately nervous. It's just fiction. Broken. Good. Stop. All right, I have to go murder Carl. But he's just a robot, right? At what point is a conscious mind autonomous? Oh, I figured out what I was doing wrong with the levers now. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you, bud. Are you ready? We're gonna turn on the auxiliary power. And, uh... Sorry in advance. Please. Uh, I'm sorry. That's still locked. I'm just running. I just hope I don't run into anything. 
Well, that didn't do jack shit. Okay. Back we go. I'm getting somewhat confident there's no monsters here yet. This door is new. Counter. No, I'm just looking for a chat command. Not not an on-screen thing. Not a fan of that. Yeah, I'll I'll add it after stream. I I know it's like. That was totally doable. Carl, I'm so sorry, man. Just hang in there, bud. Oh, it's this. Okay. A login? What the fuck is the login? Lockdown, process eliminated, initiated, check terminal for details. Right, wasn't there something... Oh, Carl, I'm so sorry. I feel so bad. Wait, what did that say at the bottom? You can do one. What do you need? Um, I was just gonna do, like, exclamation point screens plus or something. Lucille exit 2A. Shuttle station. Wait, but where's the login? Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, fuck. There's Carl's ID. All right. I don't like making two trips. We're going to let Carl just be like that. Sorry, man. I feel bad. Oh, I oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Did you get the final backup turbos going? Everything is wired evenly. Our best as much as we possibly can. So that's it. Enough power to run Pathos 2 until the next apocalypse. We're ready to go. I really hope we didn't mess anything up. I don't want to have to come back here again. Relax, it's over. We're going to Theta. Maybe we should seal more blocks. I don't trust the helpers to let this place run in peace. We've sealed everything. Everything from the barracks to the comm center. If anyone ever sets their foot here again, they're going to have a hell of a time getting a rock off. Oh! Zero seven two two. Uh, but yeah, nine. If it's annoying to look it up, don't don't spend any any unnecessary time on it because I'll just do it after the stream. Uh, okay, login. Let's do zero seven two two. What? No, not change. Enter. Zero seven two two. Okay. Okay. Logged in as Carl! Power's been secured. We've sealed off factories to keep the plant running. All uh, superfluous systems have been turned off. If anyone has... Uh, if anyone has to return, know that the power flow regulator is hanging by a thread. If you flip the switch, it's probably a no turning back situation. We're out of here. Mail not sent. Link could not be established. Can I open this now? Uh, what am I missing? Oh, there's more stuff here. Duh. Com center. 
insufficient power, insufficient power, insufficient power, okay. Perfect. We did it. We did it. Oh, hell yeah. Can I close this from up here? Oh, sure can. Get out of here, monster. Don't need ya. Alright, that was one spooky bit. One spooky bit with the guy chasing us, but then he ran off like a coward. Uh, they were at Lambo? <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> oh. Dozens of spooky, sp spooky bits left. Hey, are you there? If they're all like the that, ceiling. I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, that's better. Simon, was it? Uh, Jared, Simon Jared. Hi, Simon. I'm Catherine. Have Hi, you Kathy. Figured out what's going on yet? Me? I was hoping you'd have some answers. I probably have some. What do you want to know? <laughs> Where to even begin? I mean, what is this place? How did I get here? And, and why do the robots talk like they're people? Well, you're at Upsilon, clearly. Have you never been there before? Where did you work? <laughs> the Grimoire in Toronto. Is that really important? No, I mean, where did you work at Pathos 2? I don't know what that is. That's unexpected. Did you come directly from Toronto? Yeah, I did. And it was very unexpected. <laughs> Have you seen any people? Like, staff or field technicians? Only robots. Crazy ones. Except for one. I, I think he was in pain. I'm not sure what to do. He said he was hurting. Sort of. I don't know. He was definitely was in that? pain. No! What's going on? I think this place is about to collapse. What do I do? Simon, come to Lambda. Uh, how, how do I get there? There are two trains connecting all the sites. Find one and come here. I'll wait for you. Aw, that's nice. Uh, it's not nice. That's not good. Shit, shit, bad. shit, shit. Where do I... Oh, Alright, that was a good game. We drowned. Good game. GG. This is possible. This isn't. This is insane. Surprise. Or a robot. Can we get out? Oh! Climb. All right, now this is cool. I love the underwater shit. This is why I love Subnautica, right? Like, it's just so fucking cool looking. Oh, that was, that was like, 
We got further than I thought we might at the start. I kind of thought that I was going to get to the first sighting of a- Oh, sick! We can run underwater! Heck yeah, physics. Um, uh, I, I kind of thought that I was going to get to the first spooky area with an actual monster running around, and then I was just going to stop playing, to be honest, but I'm doing okay. I should not go off the path, though. Um... I will get lost. This looks like more of a path. And I see a light. Perfect. We're gonna follow these lights. Alright. I feel like Soma is actually a pretty approachable horror game. That's good to know. What's that? It looked small. Ooh, light. Come in, Zeta. You better answer me, Strasky. Turn on! Amy, where, where are you? The field. I had to leave. Is Carl with you? It all went to hell. Hold on. You, you got the power automated, right? The, the plant is safe. We need the power to keep the sites running. Oh, fuck the power! Fuck you, Strasky! The machines killed Carl! Ah, oh, shit. All right, um, calm down. It, it'll be okay. Can you get back to Theta? Yes. I think so. I'll head for the shuttle, the Ox. Good luck, Amy. I'm rooting for you. I'll say the voice acting in this is very good. Also, Nine, I haven't read it yet, but I saw the notification for the Discord message for the chat command, and thank you. I appreciate it. I will check that out later. I thought it, I just like looking at stream elements, I thought it would be something that I could add very, very easily, and I think it's a little bit more complicated than that. Was this the way I came? Or did I come up? I think I came up this way, right? And then I, and then I clicked this. So I want to keep going this way, which I don't like because it's dark. Oh, it's a little fish. Ooh, red light. Can I just go around you? We had a treat. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I um It is Ellie. Yeah, the treats are in the other room though. Um I will grab them. I will be less than a minute. Oh, yeah. Let me go to my camera. Come here, baby. You were just up here a minute ago. Come back. Come on. Ellie. Yeah, good girl. Here you go. Here's some treats. Yeah, she is pretty. Oh, you say for summoning Harvey? Yeah, but he's always in here. She's not in here very often. She's like, she's a couch potato kind of cat. Like, she's always just on the couch. Just all day, all night. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, st would you stop touching me? Uh, 
I get cat spit all over my mattress, all over my sheets. Go. I gave her a couple because she doesn't get treats too often. I've been trying to give her just the diet food, you know, trying to slim her down a little bit. I, I took her to the vet and they were like, she's obese. I was like, really? And they were like, yeah. And I was like, oh, well. all right, diet food it is. I think she's lost a little bit of weight. She was a little bit heavy when I got her. And they thought that she would lose the weight right away because, like, uh, she didn't deal with the stress of, like, going to the adoption center very well because she was surrendered when she was three. Um, and so she, like, binge ate at the shelter. I put on a little weight. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Buy a single mouse and release it in the house. She's caught one, actually. Her and Harvey have each caught a mouse. They're, it's really hard to not have mice in these really old houses. Um, so occasionally we'll have one or two that show up in the jaws. We were going down, yes. Oh. Are you evil? Like, will you hurt me? Whoa, what's this? Is that a walkway? I'm just gonna avoid you. It doesn't look like you're gonna come for me. I have been misled. I thought there would be a door here. Maybe we have to go by the spooky guy. Just, uh, don't mind me. This is a huge area. I've been running through most of it, too. Upsilon B, isn't that where we're supposed to go? Are you following me now? What's this? That's spooky. Oh, it's that guy again. weird. Okay. Oh, this looks promising. Oh, we got a saving icon. What? Oh. Hey. Thanks, buddy. Although out here is not bad. I'm more scared of what's in there. Excuse me. Oh, door. Oh, hell yeah. 
I was uh, I was at the gym the other day, and I thought this was so funny. This guy um, had to cough, and he was wearing a mask because masks are required at my gym. But he fully like covered his mouth like the whole time that he was coughing, and I was like, man, old habits, huh? Good, we'll be able to breathe again. Yeah. Excellent. Door? Let's hope the shuttle still work. I could really use a flashlight. Oh, damn it. They gave Where me a flashlight. a flashlight. And you ask why I would be upset that I just got what I was asking for, and it's because it means that the rest of the game is going to be darker and spookier. Because what is spookier than having to shine a flashlight where you want to look? Jackie? Come in, Theta. Also, where did the flashlight even come from? And they purposefully made water dripping sound like footsteps, and I do not appreciate it. Bolts, screws, nuts, okay. What's this? Manifest. Shuttle, a beat. On this morning of January 12th, the comet Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. The impact ranks as the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Pathos 2 unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication station located on the surface platform Omega, unmanned, which is under, um, so under the circumstances is a small price to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Patho Pathos 2 and ultimately mankind. More on the matter will follow. Oh shit, okay. Earth is uninhabited and we are underwater. Well, I mean, we knew we were underwater, but now we doubly confirmed are underwater. Okay. Can't open that. Or can't do anything with that. I don't really want to touch that again. Unless I have to, I guess. Do I have to break this glass? I don't know if I'd be able to... Door. Why can't I take this shuttle? Is there anything else on here? I keep being bad about going back. Video. Play. I guess that's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way. Along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. I mean, I hope they will. Hell, I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted the picket fence, big family, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm proud of you. Aww. And even though it's been difficult to be separated from you, I regret nothing. I'm happy. And I really wish 
wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. I love you, Amy. I always have. And always will. Cool. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Underwater Colony is a really interesting setting for some horror. I agree. The setting of this game is phenomenal. Totally agree. Um, oh, that's open. Good. Good. Very good. Love it. Guess we're walking. I can't turn the flashlight off, I don't think, which is interesting. I don't like that blue light. Masters of Holland. Tell them I need help. Okay? Amy needs help. I, I think you need a little more than help. I think you're... You're in some bad circumstances here. Like horror, but this shit is just sadness. Okay, here we go. No. Are you okay? I don't know. I want to go home. Oh, Sam. <laughs> I'm. I. You know what? I think we did her a favor. Stable, powered. Everything's powered. Excellent. I am so sorry, but you did not want to stay like that. All right. So I know that with these games, they utilize some shit of like, when whatever power supply equals full, release scary monster. It is, it is facts. I think day nine said that. <laughs> Robots can live forever, which is awesome, but also means hell could actually exist, which is horrifying. <laughs> you can live forever, you can live forever in agony. That's a good point, Mark. That is a good point. Is this open now? Do I have to do this thing to get it to work? Also, my flashlight turned off. That's where we came from. I want... To use shuttle. Oh, it's so dark. All right, this is the only thing left to do in this area. Oh, oh. Oh. Gross. 
Carlos. Jesus Christ! What the hell? Do I have magic powers? Damn it. Did that do anything? Now what? Simon! Do I have to go back? Okay, there is something here. I couldn't even see it. I can't interact with anything here. No, where do I go? What do I do? I don't see any switches. Go down, crouch. Okay. So it's interesting because, like, I've always really liked the idea of being able to up upload my brain to a computer and therefore... <gasps> Was I always able to do that? I'm not sure. Um, and therefore, like, extending life, right? By uploading your brain to a computer. But also, what you just said forever being in agony just by the will of some computer program. Sounds awful. Uh, but we did it. We made it. Shuttle J6 activated. Standing by. Okay, but what if your brain gets uploaded, your life experience still ends when you die? Uh, to that I'm like, I, I guess continuation of my mind is better than nothing, right? Where are we, s I forget where we're supposed to go. Lamba? I think Lamba, right? That's where we're going. Oh, I don't, I don't like this. This is really cool when you're in a real subway, right? But in this game, I'm less cool with it. Welcome to Pathos. Yeah, TV. yeah, I'd like, I'd, I'll watch TV. To the stars. What started as a thermal mining operation in the 60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station is built on mobile sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together, they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operator, Aethos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. There, you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station and transport to the surface. This 
cool. What if your mind is actually sentient and lives in that forever agony Mark was talking about? Yeah, I mean, that would suck. But I guess it's like, I don't know. Would you... Would you go back into the Matrix if you knew you were gonna die? Because I would. I would go back into the Matrix if I knew I was gonna die. Why do you have to do us like this? If it saves your conscious existence, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm talking about, I guess. Anything else, I think we would have to better define what we're talking about in order to give a better opinion. If it's just like uploading your brain to some random PC and you don't know anything about what will happen. Phone. Simon. Simon, are you there? Catherine, yeah, I'm is here. that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you alright? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not alright. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? <laughs> Look, don't worry about that right now. I realize you're confused, but you're so close to Lambda. If you just keep going. How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll lead outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on out there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Catherine? You okay? Get me out. I don't want to. So I haven't yet worked out if like I need to interact with that. Because it seems weird and sketchy. Is there literally anywhere else to go here? <laughs> All right, cool. We'll just skip it. Yeah, that idea bugs you in science fiction when some mad scientist is trying to upload his mind to become immortal. I always think, but you're you're dead, bro. I mean, I guess, like, so I don't see a huge difference between a fully conscious mind in a computer and in a, in a flesh container. Ah, oh, fuck. I forgot the Omni tool back in the shuttle. Whoa, whoopsie daisies. Simon, come on. That should have been an auto pickup. Goddamn game physics. You expecting me to remember shit? When Omni Tool is left in shuttle, really spooky monster. Oh, I hate this. <gasps> Did everyone see that? Body is just flesh mechanics, baby. Pretty much. We're all just made up of electrical signals. I just watched a movie recently. Oh fuck, what was the movie called? It was so good. Uh, it was this... It was an AI movie. Um, 
about a, a Turing test. Um, and the robot is this female form, uh, and this guy is, like, brought in to test her. Um, I don't want to give away too much about the movie, though. But it was so fucking good. Here we go again. What was it called? What was it called? Um. Ugh, oh god. I keep worrying that the game is gonna crash. Um. I got. I'm looking up what the name of that movie was because it was really good. Uh. AI. Oh, it was Ex Machina. Totally forgot the name. I'm terrible with names of anything. People, games, movies, actors. Oh, all right, I closed. We're back outside. I can find Lambda, right? I mean, really, how big can this ocean be? It's gonna be really far away, huh? All right, the game's just letting me know that you might be searching around for a while. Let's just follow the lights. But yeah, if anyone here has not seen Ex Machina, highly recommend it. It was very good. Um, which also has me curious, what movie you saw most recently that you were just like, this is bomb. Like, this is awesome. Because I feel like that doesn't come up for me very often. Most of the time I'm like, that was good. It was pretty good. I liked it. I enjoyed that. But for me to, like, walk away from a movie and be like, I have no notes is pretty rare. But I'm also, like, very critical when it comes to movies and stuff. Like... I don't know, I just feel like we should be critical of media that we consume. Uh, we don't have to be excessively critical, we don't have to nitpick, but we can also... Oh, 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 hi. I didn't even notice you there. Oh, jeez. No, leave me alone! I don't like that music. Fucking idiots. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Leave me alone. Oh, stop it. The network, you'd say, is pretty close. 70s movie about a TV network. Ooh. I will have to check that out. That sounds familiar. I immediately thought of the newsroom, but that's a TV show and that's different. Lamba. Hello? I got good music. That means I did it? This must be Lambda. Or Catherine. That wasn't hard. Did it. You're rewatching the newsroom now because it reminded you of it? Nice. Um. I really liked the newsroom. I didn't watch too much of it. But what I did watch, I really enjoyed. I watched like a couple episodes. Oh, I don't like this. There's gonna be a spook here. We're in a 
whole new area. It's been a good hour and a half since we had, or maybe like an hour since we had a good spook. So there's gonna be a spook soon. Oh, oh, oh. Catherine! You know what? If she's dead, that's just... That's, that, you know what? That's just too bad. Catherine, I'm deeply sorry for your sudden death. Oh god, please don't come at me. Catherine? Be quiet! Don't look at it! Highly recommend watching the whole series, not just season one. You know, I've been wanting a new show to just binge, so I should go back to it. I watched like the first couple of episodes. I don't like this, by the way. Um. Are you sure? Because if you're wrong... Hey, down here. Oh, oh. You? No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Can't take any more. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I don't. You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. You gotta be kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, is that an Omni tool you're carrying? Oh, the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. When the Omni tool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Oh, everything's on, so fuzzy. I just fuzzy. need you to do this one thing for me. Sure, yeah, all right. Whatever. Yeah, we'll do it. Lambda terminal 27 activated. The Omni tool is ready now. Should be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omni tool. Why does a robot chip fit a door opener? It's standardized connected. Uh, Catherine? All right. Let's give this a try. Ugh, I wish I could stop the, like, fuzziness. Custom Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chip. Have a nice day. Just pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? Portable wow. Catherine! Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. We were going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. 
Then suddenly it became very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Nice. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. That's so convenient. What was All right. you said before? Are you from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Uh -huh. Will this fix the brain fuzz? I'm touching it. I'm doing it. Ugh. 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 I hate it. Gross, gross, gross. Don't make any sense of it. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. You got it. I'd really like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Careful! I think it's back! Keep your eyes peeled! Not a fan, not a fan, not a fan. Which room am I supposed to go to? Not this one, I guess. That creature was strangely overbearing. Yeah, I basically exploded with electromagnetism. That's bad for us, right? Confusing, at least. Gives the senses a good punch. That's where we just came- that's where we came from. This is where... Catherine is, yeah, okay. May oh, maybe it is this way, because this was locked before. Just check the computer. Yes, look for anything about the Ark. Are you excited about the Ark? Hmm. At first, I couldn't really see the point of it. But then I thought, why shouldn't we, right? I mean, if we are able to save even just a small piece of ourselves, why wouldn't we do that? So you are in favor of that. I think it's really important we do this. On 
the art project? The idea is uh, just incredible. By every definition. <laughs> it really makes you think about what it means to be human. What makes you say that? Beyond the basics. Beyond the superficial. I'm convinced there's something with even greater value. You have provided a platform which is not necessarily restricted to our digital progeny, but a means of actual survival. It's my sincerest belief that we can go on living through the reality of continuity. Mm. Is this from inside the Ark? Yes. That's some early renders of the world inside. Oh, it is the Matrix. It's a lot comfier than this place. Schematics. Welcome, if you're reading this. You have successfully entered the Ark. This survey is designed to give the developers a better understanding of your subjective experience and how to improve your well-being. Please continue with the survey. How would you describe your physical condition? Ooh. I feel normal. I feel invigorated, a better version of myself. I feel alien. I'm a visitor inside another body. I feel fake. I'm no longer a real person. Why is that one red? I feel normal. I feel alien. I'm a visitor inside. Oh, there we go. It's just because that one's selected. Okay. Next question. How do you describe your mental condition? I feel normal. I feel disconnected, a separation of mind and body. I feel altered, a change in character. I feel lost. I don't exist anymore. I feel altered, a change in character. How do you describe your senses? Expected, as expected, normal. I feel more sensitive to and aware of my surroundings. I feel blocked, as if my senses are numb. I am lacking one or more of my natural senses. I feel more sensitive and aware to my surroundings. How would you describe the sensation of your new condition? It's pleasant. I don't like it. Something's wrong. It's disconcerting. Uh, everything feels constructed. Depressing. I can't shake the feeling of it all being fake. Uh, let's go with disconcerting, I suppose. Yeah, oh yeah, default option selected. Yep, totally right, nine. Uh, you know, let's go with it's pleasant. Let's do a positive one. Are you troubled by the fact that you are no longer strictly human? I mourn my previous existence. I don't care what form I take as long as I get to carry on. Somewhat, I feel like I lost myself or no, I feel fine. I don't care what form I take as long as I get to carry on. How do you perceive your new existence? It is a direct continuation of my previous self. I feel like a new chapter in my life. It's like being born all over again, a complete do-over. It's something completely different that has nothing to do with my previous self. I'm gonna say new chapter in my life. Do you think this new existence will be worth, uh, will be a life worth living? Yes, just as much as my previous life. Yes, but with less meaning. Maybe we can find a new sense of meaning in this world. No, it's too detached from reality and everything I know. I'm gonna say yes. Would you rather be moved from the project and accept death? No. The answer, your answers have been saved. Thank you for participating. I found a tracker homed in on the Ark. Oh, that's clever. I wonder if I thought of that. Does it still work? I really need to know what happened to it. I think so. It's doing something at least. Where is it? Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Please let it be safe. We're closer. Further. Found it. Oops. Closer. 
Oh, close. Ah, oh, got it. Uh, let's check the furthest one away. Ah, oh, there it is. Up. Aha, got it. I found it. It's at a site named Tau. Oh, no, it's on Earth. It's so close to five, they almost made it. Damn it, it won't make it for long in that state. A couple of decades at most. That's not much to build a future. If we got to it, could, could we get on the Ark? I suppose, but I'm not exactly flexible at the moment. I'll take us there. I can move, jump, swim, sort of. You're stuck in the door opener, the Omni tool. I'll just carry you there and you'll show me what to do. That sounds really risky. Besides, I don't like the idea of you carrying me around. Come on, Catherine. This is what you wanted to do. Your final mission. Let's launch the Ark. We would need to find a way to get into the Abyss. Can't date the climber without a power suit. We probably have to go to Theta and pray the Dunbat's still working. Okay. So we go to Theta. I don't know, it's pretty far. Catherine, look around. What else is there to do? Maybe there's still a working shuttle train that can take us to Theta. I've got it. Just have a look around. Push comes to shove, I'll walk there. Okay then, I'll just eject from this thing. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't forget. Can I pull the Omni tool out? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, just be sure to plug me in again at some point. You got it. That's so scary. You just have to leave your consciousness in the hopes that someone will, uh, will return it. I haven't gone in there and I don't want to. Oh, it does open. What's in here? Uh, huh, what? What is this? Curie Emergency Vessel 4. Hey, Simon, can you hear me? I hear you. Can you get this thing running? Hang on, I'll give it a try. Sorry, it's dead. Worth a shot? Rip. The CV came from Curie. It was a ship that used to make runs between Lambda and Lisbon. Looks like their wreck is close. Maybe you can find a vessel like this one inside. Sounds like a plan. I'll just save the security information and update the Omni tool. There. Should help you get it around. Great. Cool. Alright. That's where we came from. So we went left, now we'll go right. Or right, we went, now we'll go left. Oh, we definitely went this way already.
Oh, loading. Oh. I feel like my PlayStation 4 should be able to run this game better than that, but... This doesn't feel like the right way. I'm gonna go back really quick before I go too far in one direction and get totally lost. Um, I also am gonna s probably stop playing in about 10 or 15 minutes, so I don't want to, like, get far in one direction and then have to turn around. So we came out of here, right? And then we went down here. We went into that shuttle. Aha, we were supposed to go this way. Okay, glad I went back. Oh, it's the little guy, the friend. This looks like a reasonable path to follow. This open area should be safe. I don't even see him now. Does he just make a surprise pop-up visit and then run away? It's like, boo! Well, you know what? Boo was successful. My flashlight. I swear this area is gonna be full of monsters. there's a path. I hate when they do that, when they have just like a little bit of space in one direction and a bit more space in the other. Alright, I guess that wasn't the ship we were looking for? Okay, we'll just keep going. Oh my god, why? What was that for? I don't even know where it was. Looks like where I'm supposed to go. That music indicates that I'm where I'm supposed to be. Hate that. I 
I'm just waiting till I get my next save. And then I'm gonna quit, I think. I don't know if I'm ready for another spooky zone. Oh god, I hate this. Ellie, please. I'm gonna let the cat out. Okay, okay, okay. I haven't seen a loading symbol in a really long time. Oh god, am I supposed to... Well, jumping down seems silly. a door here. A door for no reason. I can't imagine I'm supposed to jump from here. Yeah, that doesn't seem right. Oh, this just opens, doesn't it? Something about underwater stuff is just so spooky. Did anyone ever watch those, like, wrecked ship exploration documentaries? I used to be all over those on the Discovery Channel when I was a kid. Of course the door automatically closes. And there it is. All right, we're in. Let's find a working escape vessel. Okay, this is where I'm gonna pause for tonight. Uh, it is just, I'm not ready to deal with whatever this is gonna be. So um, we're gonna save and quit here because the game just saved. So I wanna make sure we don't lose a bunch of progress. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's getting a little bit late, um, and I could use now a little bit of time to just, just decompress, maybe play some FTL off stream, maybe grab a snack, 
have some chocolate. Nine, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. It was nice, nice knowing that through the whole stream I had someone there. <laughs> um, I will definitely play some more of this. Um, probably either Friday or this weekend, uh, or maybe on Halloween. Uh, what day is Halloween on? I don't know. I'll play it some more. Uh, I know it's not a very long game, so I'll likely finish it in, in three-ish streams anyways, uh, depending on how fast I move through it, so. I am enjoying playing it, I will say that. Figured you'd stay since I was playing a horror game. Well, I appreciate it. You, I mean, you, you don't want to miss those, like, moments where I jump out of my skin, so I have a feeling there's more to come. Um, let's set up a raid, and I should, I'm also gonna say, I don't think, I don't think they're, st uh, still here, but Dave and Mark, thank you for those resubs again. Really appreciate it. Um, and let me pull up, I'll say if you stick around for the raid, you'll get channel points, which you can use to, uh, make me give my cats treats. Or make me play Getting Over It. <laughs> 